Hello and welcome. My name is Katrin Frank and this is Aram Ibrahim. We work with Uptime Support and Uptime Services. So to start this off, I'd like you to imagine you're a customer. A customer owning one or several Volvo construction machines, working in projects in society. Could be building roads or bridges or housing or even quarry or mining. Uh, either way, your time is valuable, right? So your time plan is already a challenge and uh, your budget is on the limit. So also you can't risk any disturbances in your operation. And of course, you expect your machines to be up and running all the time. So you can't afford delays, you can't afford any machine breakdowns, and you need your project to continue because you need to keep your promises to your customers. How to solve this, Ara? Indeed, uh, Katrin, it's a challenge for our customers. Uh, and this is something that we at Volvo C has been, of course, uh, taking on with the highest uh, priority. We believe we can provide peace of mind to our customers. And uh, one way is, of course, if you, as you said, Katrin, imagine if you're a customer with those challenges and wouldn't it be wonderful in that circumstances that you and your, your, your machines are under watch 24 seven and monitored by experts. And as soon as something abnormal happened with your machine that you get alerted before a major breakdown happens. And in order to understand what is active care service, we, uh, we have a, a small video for you to, to watch, uh, to show, feel, give you a feeling of, of the concept, how it works. Okay, now you have seen the video explaining the Volvo Active Care Service. I try to explain it on a high level, how this works. Basically, it comes down to that our machines are equipped with sensors that are monitoring um, the, our machines and different behaviors in our machines. And when something abnormal happens in the machine, the sensors give signal to the control unit in the machine and the control unit is sending that signal through the telematic system all the way back to our back office, which is in the uptime centers. What happens then in the uptime centers? There, our product specialists and experts are sitting and monitoring the machine. They do a deep analysis on what is happening on your machine and determining, determining what, is, what needs to be done. So they package a case send it to closest dealer to that machine and with the tangible um, actions for the dealer to, to take. This enables the dealer to know about something happening on, on the customer machine close to their territory and they can call the customer for and schedule a, a visit before a major breakdown happens. Now, a key in this, obviously, is, is as hopefully it's, it's clear that is the connectivity is very essential for this flow and for this process to happen. So, and connectivity is, is part of Volvo CE strategy and we are fully focused on that. 
But Katrin, how would, how would you say where we are when it comes to connectivity? Well, today we have 182,000 connected machines worldwide. And in region Europe and international, uh, the number is 70,000. Mm. So quite a lot. Mm. And all those data from these connected machines together with analytics enables us to start this or to be on this transformation journey that we are on, going from a reactive to a proactive and eventually even predictive way of working. And all of this is of course to increase uptime for our customers. But of course this means a radical change uh, for all of us in the in the end-to-end -end process because we have traditionally in the industry been very used to work reactively, respond to customer problems as they arise. Now, with new tools and new technologies, we can actually turn that around and work proactively instead. So, uh, which means, of course, again, uh, re reduced unplanned downtime, but also lower cost for all stakeholders. For the customer, obviously, to, to have less unplanned downtime, but also for dealers, they can plan their technicians' work in a much better way. Also, the, the flow of uh, parts and components, you don't need to do express deliveries and so on. So it's a win-win, really. So maybe, Aram, we should look a bit more into this uptime journey that mm. I've been mentioning. Mm. The uptime journey, I think what we see that we as an industry, uh, we are moving, we are transforming from a reactive way of working to and moving into different phases in this journey. We see a, a planning phase um, to start with, mm. and then we see that Eventually, we need to move toward, toward more a proactive way of working. And also the end game of this journey is that to, to be fully predictive. Now, what does this mean and how this could work? The main idea, back to the, what we said from the beginning, creating peace of mind, is how do, we maximize, how do we maximize machine uptime for our customers? And we see that the reactive way is helping the customer when breakdowns happen. And we are good at it, mm. but still that is not um, fully what the customers expect now moving forward and in the future. So that's why we need to uh, take on this journey. And with Active Care Service, we are in the middle of this journey. We are putting the foundation for a predictive phase that will come in the future. So we are gathering knowledge, we are gathering competence, we are learning and we see that the service actually works. So what we aim for is to be recognized as number one in, in, in uptime in our industry. So, and we believe that active care is one of the elements that will help us um, and help our customers. That would be a bit my explanation, Katrin, to, for, for the uptime journey we are in. Um, perhaps it's time to wrap this up for yes. our customers and viewers. With active care and what we have been talking about here today, going from a reactive to a proactive and even predictive way of working, we will be number one in uptime and that will drive customer satisfaction, which is really what we want to achieve. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>